One of the features in Trimble Perspective 3.2 is the ability to sign labels. So you'll see this here on the bottom label tab. You can go in, you can search or create uh, new labels. You can search for labels you've already created. So we were doing multiple floors. I could assign a ground label. I could uh, create one for first floor. I can add them in there. You can assign multiple labels and tabs to uh, different scans. But for this one, I'm just going to assign the, the ground floor. So one label attached and then start my scan. So once your scan's complete, um, it'll download, you'll see the, the, the label is still attached, so that'll stay there. So you can go in here and you can remove the label if you don't want to attach it to the next scan. If you go into your, your stations and under your station details, you see under labels, you have it's a level scan and we also have it as a ground. So you can remove it in there from each um, of the different um, stations. You can also see it basically in here that's a station and it has the ground label attached to it and again you can go in here and add them and remove them in there as well so if we just go on now and start our second scan so if we go back into our stations we've now got uh, two scans now with the, the ground label so now if we're going to start another uh, scan on a, a separate floor or area uh, we're going to define a different label so for this one we'll just create a first floor We'll add that label in there for the first floor for the next scan. So now once that scan's imported, you'll see in the stations we have uh, two scans with the label ground, one with the first floor label. And what we can do with these labels is, if you're taking the data into DPC or RealWorks, you can use that in your uh, view filters or your search, basically to separate out scans that have the label ground or scans that have the label first floor. If we're working with in perspective, we can use this as part of our, our view filters. Basically by selecting this tick box up here, you see it says number of scans selected. And rather than actually selecting the scans, what you can do is you can select on the on the, the, the label filter itself and basically it will use that label filter as the selection tool. If you hit um, this, it will basically cancel it. If you just remove it to the side, then it will keep those scans that only have that label with the first floor. So we did a full scan here, again with the label first floor, and you'll see as we still have this uh, label filter applied for the first floor, that it will show, uh, it will also show the new scans that come in, basically that contain that label. If we remove that filter, all our scans will come back in. Again, we can get into a label filter and we can actually do it from here, so anything we've got a, a label in, we can search for the label, or as we say, we can do the select tool and we can pick it here. just a couple of ways that you can use the, the label filters uh, to define your views and Trimble perspective.